Hi, Apartment Therapy. I'm Ajri. Welcome to my 1,100 square foot home in Paris. I live here with my husband, Thomas, and my two children, Numi and Bess. So I'm the founder of Madame de la Maison, a home decor business for people who love gifting and, and entertaining. It's all about gathering at the table and doing it beautifully. I buy antiques and I make my own linens. And I just wrote my second book, Joie, A Parisian's Guide to Celebrating the Good Life, all about finding joie de vivre like the Parisians do. But like joie, finding joy in everyday life is the North Star for people here. It's about, you don't always have to be doing something, you can just be. Here we are in this Hasmanian building on the sixth floor with a wraparound terrace and it was the dream apartment I remember wanting. So Hasmanian buildings, they're very specific types of buildings. Like the bottom will be commerce, the next floor is usually like the grand apartment and then they get smaller as you go up and then there's a bigger apartment. At the top of all these buildings were little tiny apartments for, you know, the service. So above us are all the tiny little apartments that used to be like the maid's quarters. This is my salle à manger, our dining room. What's called in French a double séjour. It's the living room and the dining room are kind of together. And in here, I love that we have these double doors that open up into the room. So when you come from the front door, you see the light, you see the table. Some of my proudest DIYs, one was putting these bookshelves in because before it was just a big space. So I love that we put these bookshelves in immediately and then I could like color coordinate my books, which is you know how I like my books to be. The top is books and then the bottom is glass so that this could be a desk. I love having this like print of my mother in the dining room. So my mother is someone who loved gathering with family and friends at the table. So I kind of feel like when I'm in the space having a dinner party, She's sort of looking down upon us and joining us for that moment. Jordan Bet Benton from Lost Art, after I'd had a surgery on a leg and I was, you know, with crutches and I was working at the museum and he, I just love it, you know, this portrait he drew of me and he wrote Survivor. So I like sitting at my desk and seeing my mother and being reminded that I'm a survivor. And then we have this beautiful fireplace, original to this apartment, and the mirror as well. This marble fireplace, I love it because the space is changing all the time. You know, I'm putting flowers here. I make my own sort of like potpourri, and I just, I love them just sprinkled around the apartment, but also you can use it to make a runner when I'm styling a table. So these are always here. So this space changes a lot because it's sort of like my gallery space, so that's quite fun. When you live in a small space and you can't have like a massive couch, there's like seating that you can put in corners because when people come over, you know, you need extra seating. So I have this little tabaret, this little stool um, from a designer, Eva Sonike. And then I found this brass and metal, I think it's like kind of like 18th century little stool. I'll probably like put a cushion on it, but right now it's a table for books. I have this 1950s side cupboard, sideboard, full of antique glassware. I'm a little bit obsessed with crystal coupes, champagne coupes, and I love to have like mix and match glasses because you come into the house and all the glasses are different. You take the one you want. I think it's quite fun and charming. So I found this bar cart also at a flea market and I, of course I don't need another bar cart because I already have a bar cart. and I turned it into my plant bar cart. So it's like covered in all my plants. It's, it's fun. We have this projector, we don't have a TV, and then you know, this thing comes down. Such a, a thing that we argue about all the time because I have to Photoshop it out of all of my Madame de la Maison photos. But yeah, this is our space. This is where we watch movies and TV. In the end, I, I love watching on the projector. I found this on Le Bon Coin, which is like Craigslist. The woman, it was, she said she had bought it for $1,500 and she sold it to me for, I think, $200. But I love it, you know, this like lucite with these like, you know, brass knobs. So this space changes all the time too. I'm always like restyling it, but it's a, a way to sort of like hide the ugly techie stuff. So this is our entree, our entryway space. All of these mirrors have been collected at different times. 
over the years. And here you have that bench that was a DIY project. Thomas built the bench. It's perfect, we shove a bunch of bags inside. You know, shopping bags, things you need when you're running out the door. And it's perfect because it's custom for us. And then here's this pillow with a toile de jouy fabric um, that Thomas's mother made for us. It's not very sexy, but we hang the kids all their different helmets, you know, bags and things that I'm running out the door and he grabs. Um, but we also have this beautiful little box and inside is like one of those little fake books inside, you know, put keys and like little knobs and different things. We have these two closets here. We keep, we don't need to see what's inside. It's like a hot mess, but all of our shoes go in here. And this closet is all Madame de la Maison antiques for the shop um, and projects that I'm working on. And they're you know, tiny French closets, but nice and tall. Parisian apartments don't have a lot of closet space. That's a big challenge, but also we've grown as a family. So that's been hard because, you know, in the beginning, what was our office turned into the children's bedroom, one child's bedroom, and then two kids. This used to be our office. <laughs> many years ago and now it's the children's room we had to change things up because they're getting bigger so we decided to put bunk beds in here but we didn't want to just put one bunk bed so they wanted to maximize the floor space so we did two high bunk beds and then they have all the floor space underneath to play and also what's funny about this bed is that thomas took a bed and he cut it in half so that it would be narrower <laughs> he's so crazy <laughs> he took a bed cut it in half and put it back together so that it would fit better in the space. Thomas built all these shelves because the space was jutting out. So we made it these kind of like rounded little corners so that nobody would bump their heads. This is sort of like a weird little space here. This used to be a chimney and that's why this comes out like this. So this was probably like a chimney and a door that probably led to another room, but we kind of turned it into a closet. So we put a rod, we added a shelf, and then Thomas made these drawers and I went to the flea market and found these beautiful little antique knobs. This room is a, a mega Thomas DIY project, I have to say, because he did all these shelves, you know, trying to add symmetry, but like space for the kids to put all of their stuff. Built these little shelves. I love it because it fits perfectly behind the door. Our German books because we are a half Swiss German family. We have our English books mixed in there, French books, activity books. Over here, it used to be just a bed for one of the children. Now we cut the bed in half and turned it into a bench. This is actually storage. So in the back is winter coats and ski stuff back there. Now my kids are getting to that age where they want to make their own decisions about how things look. And what makes them happy is they wanted a mural. They wanted a cloud mural. And I could have got wallpaper, but it's we have a friend who is an artist and so she came over and did this mural with the kids. Here's the kitchen. That's the bathroom, but they're both under renovation, but I'm going to share them with you very soon. So, our bedroom is probably the least decorated space, and mostly because it's kind of like what I said, I don't want to just like buy stuff to buy it. I want to take my time and feel out what I want in this space. I decided to paint the wall black a couple years ago. I started collecting vintage and antique paintings of florals. And this is our bed that Thomas made himself. So he built these drawers underneath and the drawers are all different sizes. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, but it goes all the way to here. It's massive. And then on this side, I have a drawer that goes probably all the way to here and it's clothes, off season clothes. So this one goes all the way to here probably, but then it's sectioned off into little boxes full. So one's like headphones, one's cables, one's batteries. Like, so you, you can, he changes it. Like if he has more stuff, he'll just move it down. Maybe he was gonna make them stay at one point, never got that far, but you know. All the ugly stuff under the bed. <laughs> probably the only Ikea thing in our house is the, the packs which I love the packs because you can customize it, you can put mirrors, you can do whatever you need. I you know, f went online and found a hardware company to do all of the handles. And then, you know, it's drawers. And, you know, things that we can hang. And then Thomas built this desk. <laughs> He wants his desk a certain way. I would love to get rid of this desk and have like 
a tiny desk, but this is, you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> I think that when I moved into this space, you know, there's like the ex New Yorker in me that quickly was like, I need to get online, I need to order everything, it needs to be perfect, I can't invite anyone over until it's perfect. And then, you know, quickly realized how people operate here. You know, you want your home to be something that, you know, that that is representative of you, that it's it slowly comes together. I can look around this apartment and see pieces that have like slowly come in. Your space is full of things that have meaning to you, that bring you joy. I can, there's, you know, there's everything in this room brings me joy, absolutely. I can tell you where I got it, where I found it. You know, decorating a space should be that. That should be the process, and I'm glad that I did that. A home is a place that brings you joy, that brings you peace, that brings you memories and stories. I want, I want my home to be that.